Happy Good Friday, guys. Yeah. Fear's gone. Another original character gone. No, it was only Felicity. Felicity. Oliver and Diggle now. The main original characters from the pilot. Yeah, this is my depression stage when um when a, um, a character exits from the show, original character exits from the show. A and A seg. But yeah, welcome guys to my review of episode sixteen. Um, the fug, the Faintos, the Faintos um guide. Guilt. I'm going to tell you about the, my thoughts about the story, the writing, and performances of this episode, and yeah. So yeah, directed by Joel um, Nova, and written by Be Beth Swat and um, Squats, and Beth uh, Ben um, Squat and um, Swarovski, and yeah. This episode was amazing. It was fantastic and amazing and awesome. So here's the synopsis of the episode, and then I'm going to tell you my thoughts. This comes to Star City for fear, claiming that the splinter group from the League of Assassins, the Phantos um, Guilt, led by a woman called um, Ethan, are coming for her for the location of the map that Malcolm supposedly knew the location of. Fear um, um, relocated to Greece to help Nissa, but claims she is leaving afterwards. Team Oliver eventually find the box including the map, using the mathematics to unlock it, only the map to be blank when opened, but Felicity helps to reveal the hi hidden makers underneath and discovers that it includes locations to other la Lazarus pits. Diana grows suspicious about a su superior to the police uh, in the police um, Suspecting that she might be paired in um, diet, diet drugs. Fear talks to Oliver about handing the Green Arrow Mountain back to John. Back to know um, John, but Oliver worries that current um, circumstances may be a little too much for John at the moment. Fear, Roy, and Nissa accept the depart to destroy the Lassen Pits, and Oliver says goodbye. Man, so. My thoughts about the arc of Roy. It was only a two part arc. Um, my thoughts about the arc, um, mini arc from Roy. I thought it was great. The, the story structure was really, really good. And I was shocked. I was shocked that Fear was going to leave. Um, Willa Holland is, was going to leave the show. I was shocked about it. It was like. Not fear, Queen. Get Felicity out. What? I'm <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. But yeah. Sorry. Just my depression stage. Sorry, guys. But yeah. It's been great. Um, the story structure was really good. Fantastic. I love the scenes with Oliver, Nissa. Roy and Phil and uh, back in action and Diggle back in action as the original team. <laughs> well, nearly the original team, but this wasn't the original team. But yeah, it was very, very, really good. The exit for Phil was really, really good and emotion and sad at the same time. And yeah, really, really enjoyed it. It was really, really good story structure and that and amazing. So. I really enjoyed it. So, and um, the what? Who gave me the great performance of this episode? Cohen Hayes and Willa Holland. Willa Holland has been in the show for since the first season, and she's been amazing throughout. She's been in ten episodes in season, f ten episodes of this season, and like a couple of um, a lot of um, little lot of um, a lot. 
nearly a lot of um, season five. And yeah, it's been great. She's been great um, on the show. It's been fantastic of her being on the show. Um, and yeah, she's been amazing. She's been amazing. I'm glad that Colton Hayes came back for her exit as well. But yeah, it was fantastic and amazing, brilliant of her performance and Colton Hayes' performance. And yeah, really, really enjoyed it. Really, really, really enjoyed it. But yeah, it was a really, really good episode. I loved it. It was so good. So. So. Love them, the scenes with Phil McQueen. Um, Phil McQueen. Loved it so much. It's been amazing. Willow Holland, as you... It's been a pleasure watching you for six years on the show, of the show, of the show, and it's been amazing. Going to miss you so much as Fear Queen, and it's going to be good. So, the writing of the um, episode, the writing of the episode. The writing of the episode. The writing of the episode. I thought it was great dialogue. Um, it was great dialogue. Epic and amazing. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a really, really good, enjoyable episode. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, great dialogue from um, Willow Holland, Cohen Haynes, of course, and Stephen Mill and that. And yeah. Really, really enjoyed it. It was fantastic and amazing. And I really enjoyed it. So, my thoughts. My thoughts of it. So, um, I'm going to give this episode a 9.3 out of 10. Because it was amazing, fantastic. Arrow continues next Wednesday. Um, next Thursday, I mean, at 9 8 Central on the CNW. Hope you enjoyed this review, guys. Give us a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought of um, my episode. Uh, uh, my review uh, the, this week's episode when it came back um, from a three week break um, so yeah click the subscribe button if you're new around here I want to reach 2k subs by the end of April and by the end of next week 1.4k subs I'm only like I'm only like 40 40 way um from is it 40? Yeah, um, like that. I'm only hold on, guys. I'm only. 13.7 away from 1.4k and 1.4k and 637 um, from from 2k subs. So, hope you enjoyed this review, you guys. Keep on subscribing to my channel for all things sketches, reviews, and the camera show more. And see you in a bit for my review of the mid season finale of The Dumping Ground. And um, CBC, my thoughts on CBC's um, new kind of school drama show, um, Logan um, High. Keep on subscribing, guys, and see you soon. Bye.